Good day. My name is Juliangi Angua, teacher from Rosario National High School. I am here to present to you my research entitled Localize and Contextualize Interactive Assessment, a strategy to improve the academic performance in Araling Panlipunan of grade 8 students in Rosario National High School. For the rationale, according to WIS 2011, interactive instructional materials are widely used in classroom. Some school systems have made them mandatory for particular subjects, while in other systems, teachers use them independently. The purpose behind an interactive inter instructional material is to help students organize and synthesize information given to them in class. The reasoning behind interactive notebooks originated with instructional strategies such as note-taking, concept mapping, and organization of information as well as brain research about how students learn best. Interactive instructional materials combine all of this research into one instructional method to promote student learning. For the research question, first, what is the result of the pretest of the participants of the study? Second, what is the result of the post-test of the participants of the study? Third, is there a statistical significant difference on the pretest and post-test of the participants of the study? And for the intervention, Localize and contextualize interactive assessment is an innovation of the interactive notebook and module. The researchers decided to innovate this strategy into interactive assessment since most of the interactive instructional materials focus more on notebook and module. The right portion of the interactive assessment can be used for notes provided by the teacher. This is the site that the students use to study. According to Curia 2015, explained that teachers that provide their students with notes were shown to have better achievement than those whose students personally recorded them. If the students are given information to put on the assessment's right side, they can use the left side of the notebook to put the information into their own words and reflect. For the methodology, the research design used was pre-experimental, pre-test, post-test design. The participants were 30 grade 8 students identified with difficulties in understanding and mastering the learning competency in Araling Panlipunan using purposive sampling. The instrument used was validated 20 item test and data were analyzed using paired t tests. For the result of the research question number 1, with regards to the pretest, the mean is 3.4333. The standard deviation is 0 0.62606. For the result of the research question number two, with regards to post-test, the mean is 19.3667. The standard deviation is 0 0.66868. For the result of research question number three, with regards to the comparison of pre-test and post-test, the significant value is 0 0.000. For the conclusion, the findings reveal that after the integration of localized and contextualized interactive assessment and teaching Araling Panlipunan among the participants improved their academic performance. The reason behind interactive assessment originated with instructional strategies such as note-taking, concept mapping, and organization of information as well as brain research about how students learn best. Interactive instructional materials combine all of this research into one instructional method to promote student learning. Here are the list of my references. Thank you very much.